So this is the Mix Bar Blackberry Tonic Day Perfume. It Day Perfume? I don't know how you say it. Anyways, let me just spray it. What's up, car crew, and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Courtney Janine, and I'm back with another video. Today's video, I am going to be doing another installment in my top five series. I mentioned in my last My Top Five video that I was going to branch out my series into including other aspects of my life besides hair. So today, we are going to be diving into that. Today, I will be sharing my top five fragrances for this summer you guys know that i'm a fragrance girl <laughs> i've been a fragrance girl for like about a year now or maybe two since 2020 because i believe Aaliyah's face like dropped a video all about her favorite or most complimented fragrances and i loved it and i was like oh my gosh i want to get more into fragrances and then i followed black girl smell good and like whenever she started maybe 2021 or late 2020 and then i got even more into it and it's just been fun finding the different scents that i like and figuring out which notes that i like so today we are going to be talking about my top five fragrances for the summer before we get into today's video if this is your first time seeing me here on the yt hi my name is courtney janine i do beauty fashion and lifestyle content here on this channel so definitely subscribe join the core crew family down below and let's get into today's video all right you guys so today's video is all about my top five favorite fragrances for the summer and before we get into my ranking and things like that I want to just tell you guys which type of scents I do like so in the summer I like a more fresh citrus or fruity scent but in general I typically go for the sweet scents the vanilla the warm scent but in the summer I tend to like something a little bit more fresh something a little bit more light if you will and I feel like most time floral or fruity scents provide that so those are kind of the type of notes that I will be talking about today and I will say that I mention this in almost every single fragrance video that I do that I am not black girl smell good okay follow Maya if you want to know all the ins and outs I just know what smells good to me I just know what I like so yeah with that you guys let's go ahead and get into today's video so before I get into this um if you've watched any of my other my top five videos then you know that like I am Sometimes it's a clear ranking, sometimes it's not, and this one is not. I just like all these scents. It kind of just depends on my mood for that day. The first scent that I will be talking about is from Kayali. This is the sister brand to Huda Beauty. And a lot of the scents that I have right now are trial size because I like to test out a fragrance before I get the big bottle. And then once I'm done with it, I get the big bottle. Ugh, I got this scent for Christmas actually because that is when she dropped this scent. And this is Kayali Eden Juicy Apple. You guys, this smells so so good i need something to like spray this stuff on so that i can like tell you guys eden juicy apple so like i mentioned before in the summertime i like when i'm able to have fruity light scents and that's what eden kind of provides let me just smell it oh yeah let me tell you guys about this scent this scent is very easily digestible i feel like if you liked bath and body works if you like those types of scents this is the perfect scent to like branch into more higher end fragrances it smells like something that i've something from bath and body works i don't know it's very like fruity you definitely get that apple i get a bit of pear in it it's just very light fruity and perfect for the summer i feel like no matter what season i like to smell edible and but in the summer i like it to be a little bit less warm and more light fresh citrusy type of scent and this one kind of provides that it's very light it's very nostalgic just because i mentioned before how it reminds me of a bath and body Works spray i don't know the name but it really just takes me back into just walking through bath and body Works. oh i love this scent and i definitely think it is perfect for the girls who are just getting into fragrances i'd have liked a bath and body Works scent you will probably like this it smells so good and again like i mentioned before i don't really know how to describe the notes and everything like that i will just tell you you guys what stands out to me but if you would like to know more about the notes then definitely 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 click the link in the description box to go purchase this unit and you can find out more about the notes. Alright you guys so the next fragrance that I will be talking about is from Ariana Grande. I love Ariana Grande's scent. I love Cloud. That's a popular fragrance and this one is her newest scent. It's called God is a Woman. This scent you guys I love this scent. Hold on let me spray it because I remember that it smelled like pear but I just want to like remind myself. Mm, yeah okay so what this scent reminds me of if you guys have watched any of my other fragrance videos i think my first fragrance video was actually a review of kkw's something floral pear 
peony something like that it was a green crystal bottle um it was a ulta exclusive i remember that very fondly and that's what this this smells like it smells like pear it's very light it's very welcoming it's very fruity but it also dries down to to a very like layered scent i really like this perfume from ariana grande it's very different from her other ones i feel like a lot of her other ones are very not loud but like loud and very layered and it is kind of an acquired taste this is more light welcoming um fruity which i feel like a lot of people would like um and it's perfect for the spring or summer where you want to just feel fresh it's very hot you don't want to feel too warm you want to be light and fresh and that's what this gives me okay next fragrance is from mix bar this is available at target this is the blackberry tonic um this smells so so good and it's $20 it actually reminds me of another um, fragrance on my list that I will talk about next because I like to pair these two together this is the mix bar blackberry tonic day perfume it day perfume I don't know how you say it anyways let me just spray it you guys it smells like blackberries it smells a little bit fruity at the same time but this smells like blackberry again super fruity very welcoming um, but it's also very layered scent because I get a little bit of some floral in it as well I like this fragrance a lot because it's very fresh and light and fruity like I've mentioned with a lot of these this smells like blackberry though um Kayali's Eden juicy apple smells more like an apple scent Ariana Grande's God is a woman is more of like a pear this is really really nice um I love this scent it is only $20 available at Target I will have a link down below the only downside to this fragrance is that or perfume is that it does not last super long which isn't isn't a bad thing because like I mentioned before this is $20 Ariana Grande's perfume is more in like the $60 range and then depending on the size that you get and then Kayali's is more like the $100 range but I got the travel size um just to try it out and this was only $25 so if you want to just test out a um scent you can definitely do that because I do that a lot and since it does not last that long the mix bar perfume does not last long I like to mix it so let me show you guys what I tend to mix it on because this scent is from the seven virtues a lot of people like vanilla woods from the seven virtues but this is my favorite scent from them oh, oh my gosh this must go good this is called blackberry lily so similar notes to the blackberry tonic it has blackberry it has a bit of a floral scent because of the lily in it and it's very 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 nice it just smells so good you guys like i love this scent and i definitely will be getting the full bottle once i'm done with this rollerball but this scent pairs so nicely with blackberry tonic with me with layering scents i like to layer scents that have similar notes these two definitely do one is called blackberry tonic one is called blackberry lily they smell almost identical but this is a little bit more bit stronger so i like that to layer them together so that i get the notes of both but i get the longevity of this one adding it to this scent top tier i love the seven virtues because it smells like blackberry but also i get that floral note and i like fruity scents i'm not the hugest fan of floral by itself so whenever it's paired with a fruit that's when i like it so i absolutely love the blackberry tonic and i definitely would suggest you try out this scent if you are in the market to try a new scent for the summer i love fruity floral type of scents in the summer and that's what all these kind of provide the next is ysl black opium the green bottle i got this as a sample from a sephora order and i absolutely love this scent i can't wait till i'm like done with this trial size so that i can get the big bottle this one is probably the most sweet sweetest scent um that i will showcase today it has more notes like more vanilla than the other ones that I talked about. Mm. It smells so good. I wish I was better at describing scents for you guys. Like, it's actually crazy because I love scents so much. Like, I love just smelling good. But at the same time, it's like I'm so bad at describing this. This smells so good. So this is the YSL Black Opium Licit Green. Okay, so it's warm and spicy. Okay, this is what makes sense. So the key notes are green mandarin, which makes sense because I talked to you guys about how this is more of like a fruity version of the, the basic Black Opium, but it still has that sweet gourmand. So aside from the green mandarin, it also has coffee and fig, which 
kind of makes it more welcoming and warm but that note of green mandarin kind of makes it fruity which is why i love this for the summer i love this scent um i remember i literally got it because i was purchasing a sephora order and it said you can get a free travel size of this and i was like oh my gosh it's a new scent i want to try it and i was instantly obsessed um and i would definitely recommend you all try any of these scents that i outlined today i will say you guys that like i mentioned in this video and as you can see from my own bottles that i own of these scents i like to test out scents by buying the travel size first i have made the mistake of buying a full bottle of scents getting it and not liking it i actually did that with a kayali fragrance utopia coconut or something like that but i hated that scent i hate that scent but i have a huge bottle now and after i bought that i was just like mm, your girl is not going to be wasting money on huge bottles if i don't know that i like it so you guys that is my pro tip that when you are first getting into fragrances definitely buy the travel size first unless you go into store and cop it after smelling it in store okay all in all you guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you did down below i know i'm not the best at describing scents but hopefully y'all got the vibe i feel like in the summer i like to smell fresh and very sweet but fresh fruity and that's what all these scents kind of provide for me let me know down below what's your favorite or your go-to summer scent and with that you guys let me know which topic i should explore next with this my top five series i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys